Hey guys, I'm Dustin, and I'm sitting here with Birdwell Solutions, Sam and Vinny, and uh, we're just discussing a few things. And uh, one of the things we're talking about right now is just listening when you're meeting someone new and you're networking, and uh, that's a big part of networking. So, what do you think? Yeah, well, I mean, one something that's you know getting there and making sure that you're talking to people that you don't know. You know, it's just spreading out into that networking. One way to really engage someone that you're unfamiliar with is making sure that you're paying attention to what they're saying, and it's not just you know passive. You know, making sure you hear their words, but you're actually digesting and understanding what they're talking about. So that one, and for, for two big reasons, in my opinion, is one is that you need to understand their service well enough that if you that you can sell it again. You know, it's making Correct. sure that you're bringing that you can bring that content to someone else and say, hey, I know this person; they do this amazing thing, and you want to bring that to them. And then, secondly, and more importantly, it's making sure that you're present in that moment. It's making sure Correct. that you're building that initial relationship, because especially at a networking event, yeah. first impressions are so important. Sure. Yeah, no, I agree completely. And I feel like listening is the first step towards really building that bridge because without building that bridge, all you're really gonna be able to do is regurgitate things that you can see and that other people have told you about. But if you listen, you actually get to know someone for who they want to be and how they want to tell their story. And it can be really, really powerful. Yeah, I really believe that. Um, it's one thing to know somebody or to meet someone and then you forget their name and just, you know, how are you gonna recommend their business if you don't even know who they are <laughs> after the conversation? So it's mainly about listening to them, understanding them, and then in the back of your mind saying, I could use them for something, or I know someone I can connect them with so, so their business grows as well. So I think that's very important yeah. also. So listening. Yeah, and that's the only way, listening and understanding the people around you is the only way to build a valuable ecosystem and network around yourself and your business. Yeah, and if you're not willing to listen to other people, Nobody's going to listen to you. Yeah, so it's not a really important part exactly. towards exactly. getting yourself out there is being, being willing to receive others. For sure. That. A lot of people like to talk, and then it's like talk, 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 just waiting for their opportunity to talk more. <laughs> yeah. It's like listen to who you're engaging, and then you kind of know your business too, and you know their business, which is important. So. Exactly. Yeah. One of the most, one, something that I kind of learned a long time ago that's a really valuable piece of listening is that it's not just the fact, is you're not just waiting to respond, and it's also when you do respond, you're not responding to direct the conversation to more of your own own topics. You know, you're not sure. you're not you're not asking a question to answer your own question <laughs> after they answer the question, right? Sure. So it's making sure that you're actually listening and you're actually engaging in what they have to say. Sure. When, and, go ahead. And you'll learn something too. Yeah. If you do it correctly. When networking, listen. <laughs>